mean, I did hear one thing that, again, I heard this, so that it was originally instituted as a, in the US, part of the reason it has such a high um, incidence is because it was used, they thought, as an anti-masturbation technique. That was one of the reasons why they recommended it. And I would just ask any of you who are circumcised here today, if that interfered with <laughs> <laughs> with that experience. So, but, but you're quite right. In, in the early 1900s, um, uh, that was one of the rationales for circumcision, is to prevent um, uh, self-abuse. Um, um, I heard that it could, the trauma and the pain from the circumcision could um, cause lack of bonding. Is that true? No, no, not at all. And the babies actually deal phenomenally well after the circumcision. So what happens is they sleep a lot. That's how they deal with it. Um, and then, of course, you know, for the first really 48 hours, you're changing the bandage on the circumcision, which is like a, a, a Vaseline gauze that you put on and take off. Within two days or so, that's mostly healed. The pain is really over that two-day period, and the way they deal with it is really by sleeping a lot.